Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we made it to the control room of Tyrannosis. And there's a cutscene as soon as I walk in. I have a feeling something is stalking me, which is that. Maybe I should not get in that view. doesn't seem that strong until it does that. It just turns into a machine gun. And then it comes back down to chase you again. Alright, let me go in lockdown mode. Uh oh. Oh, I was supposed to jump twice. Need to know. At least the machine gun fire is pretty easy to jump over. Why do I have a feeling that I have to keep moving? And that's standing still for some reason. Oh, now we're in this thing's point of view. I think I will just run. Um, where's my suck cannon? There it is. This should be able to catch him. Guess I'm doing this for a while. At least I have full suck cannon ammo, I think. So they actually do a lot of damage against this guy. Until I run out. Whoa! That was a bad move. Oh, I have to fight this guy with full health again? Oh, that's shite. It was going so well until that one slip up. Now we have to redo the whole thing. Are you serious? All because I wasn't prepared for that turn behind me. Oh, I almost fell for it again. The only reason I was jumping is because I wanted to dodge the swipes. I suppose this is a good plan for now. That kind of wasn't, but okay. Right, now it's gonna try to get away again. Just fine. Now don't screw up. I honestly do like this view though. Gives you, like, a different point of view of what's going on. That's it. I'm getting it together this time. Not gonna make that same mistake twice. At least I hope not. be good here. Mini turret glove? I mean, they can get him from pretty much any angle. So I guess I can keep this up for a while. When he stops, he's more wide open. Oh, now, now they fire rockets. I thought he was, like, uh, gonna chase me again. I 
Okay, maybe I should run a little bit faster. And maybe use a different gun. I guess a lava gun is good as long as I'm dodging missiles, which I did. Captain Quark, first you made another miraculous comeback. Now you've defeated the Tyranoids in a spectacular battle on their own planet. How do you explain your recent success? Courage, compassion, dashing good looks, iron hard abs! Seriously though, to be a true hero of heroes, you need more than loads of charisma and a brilliant tactical mind. I couldn't have done it without... These massive guns! Mwah! Mwah! I'm just kissing his shoulder. Glad to see you made it through in one piece, Ratchet. You must have quite a story to tell. Why don't you come back to the Phoenix and fill us in? Well, Quark is a jerk, so there's that. The ranger base on Kevo Island is on a ferocious assault by Tyranoids. Re repulse the heavy attack, then lead a raid to capture a hover ship launch pad at the center of the island. No problem. I should have bought some ammo first. But maybe I don't need to right now. I might as well do, do these battles. But it looks like I can just go straight to the Phoenix? May not be a bad idea to do these battles. Get more experience, get more bolts. What could be better? Geronimo! Definitely not that voice acting. <laughs> Okay, so the missiles don't outright kill you. But that's six damage right there. Those were like the uh, red lights over there, or the red flares. Could easily track you a little bit longer than the others. Well, that was some dumb hits right there. Alright, what gun do I have ready? Um, spinning Hydra? Sure, let's go with the Spinning Hydra. It at least has some power. Now I need some health. Alright, there's a little bit more meat to this mission than just staying in one spot killing things. Take cover! The noise are coming over the bridge! And so am I. There's a hover ship pad near the center of the island. We need to get out there and capture it. I'll do my best. Those were where the missiles were coming from. Good thing I took that out. Not without getting hit in the process, but okay. This place is crawling with noise. There's the hover ship. Well, we this is their planet. The area. Oh, get away from that. Got some health back, but I need to switch to a gun that actually has ammo in it. There, we're actually doing really well for ourselves. I like these missions. They do give you a sense of urgency and a sense of, like, having allies to back you up. As long as they don't take away the experience from me, they can do whatever the hell they want. Oh, that's a good haul. Hi. The missiles might be pretty hard to dodge. Because it seems like they got a good blast radius. And they land right next to you. Oh my god, I'm dead.
Man, I gotta do all that again. Hollow shield glove? Okay, well, I, it is a new weapon. Sure, I'll take it. And now I gotta do all this again. Thankfully, I mean, I got all my ammo back. Of course, I still get to retain the experience from before. And I know what to do. As well as where to go. I still think the Spitting Hydra is a good weapon for, like, the turrets and whatnot. Now I just gotta think about what's the best course of action to not get shot with missiles. I wonder if this uh, hollow shield glove is actually good for that. It. Nope, the missiles will still hit it. Oh my god, I got hit by three or four missiles in this one area. Oh, it's at level two now. Like, how do you get away from the missiles in time? And now I'm dead again. Oh my god. I'm not doing too hot right here. I need to get good. Otherwise, the game is gonna get me. Clearly, there are no checkpoints for these missions. So, we'll have to make do. Take cover. The are coming over the bridge. Maybe I should actually take care of the turrets from far away with the flux rifle before I get too close. Will they actually target me from here, though? Doesn't look like it, so I think we're good. Let's make sure everybody else is dead so they don't bother me. No, my nanotech went up. Yeah, this seems to be a better plan. Just use your flux rifle on the targets you know are probably going to kill you. Just let the flex... Not the flex. Flux rifle do all the work. Then you're golden. Likely not dead. Oh, why did I select that gun? Oh, there's another one. Oh, those rockets are still not able to reach me. That would be bad. Yeah, this is definitely a much better strategy. Take out the strong enemies from afar. I don't know what notification I got on my phone, and I'm not gonna look. I'm really liking this Hydra. Oh, hi. All right. <laughs> Man, it's going to be a while before I can afford that. 
Um, dogfight over Kavu Island. The Tyranoids have launched a massive air assault against the island. Use the captured hover ship to drive back the enemy air fleet. Wait a minute, I'm gonna fly this. We need air support. Get to the hover ship and blast those drop ships out of the sky. Oh, why am I shooting at my own allies? Press X or L1 to ascend. Square or L2 to descend. Use the right analog stick to aim. And press circle or R1 to fire rockets. Go take care of the sauces, Sarge. Keep blasting those dropships. Okay, you're the boss. So I guess my only targets are really the dropships. I gotta get used to like L1. I mean, L1 and L2 for like doing what I need to do. You're the boss, again. Some things do not change. I can only hover like so high up and then it stops. As long as they're not able to hover over me. I'm okay with that. Okay, these are the enemy ships. I want to make sure that I'm not shooting my own. Then again, I don't think I can blow up my own. These saucers should back off once you take out the last of the drop ships. There are more? It must be around here then. Oh, there's one. Just flew right under me. Totally ignorant of the situation. Yes. Oh, there it is. Come at me, bro. Assuming it's a bro driving this. You're fine. There's not many of these little ships left, unless it's just the small ones. I guess small ones can't get in the way. They'd be pretty close to our units. I have a fair amount of hits left, so I'm doing okay. And we won. Awesome. I don't know why I went to buy ammo. <laughs> the Tyranoid base on Kevo Island is protected by an impenetrable force field. While the rangers work out a way to deactivate the hover... Yeah, deactivate the field. Take our hover ship and wipe out the Tyranoid forces in the surrounding area. The Tyranoid base is protected by an impenetrable force field. We're still trying to figure out a way to get past it. In the meantime, Command wants you to take the hover ship and wipe out the Noid forces in the surrounding areas. Alright, so maybe I should just focus on the turrets while I can. Oh god, there's dropships here, too. Okay, don't stop moving. Otherwise, those turrets are gonna ruin your day. Oh my god, I hate these rockets so much because they barely miss. What is hitting me? Oh, it's another dropship? Okay, I think there's like too many dropships around at once. Nanotech went up, I don't know how. This is not gonna make any difference while in the, the hover ship. I think by backing up, I was able to reassess the situation in a way that's not going to get me killed. Also, how the hell can I not shoot those rockets in midair? I feel like I should have been able to do that. Now I see why I had a problem with those rockets. supposed to shut down this force field. 
don't know. You figure it out. I'm busy. These things cannot heal me? Wow, that bullet was flying really slow and it still got me. Okay, that's another drop ship out of the way. Maybe I can shoot the uh, rockets, but it just takes a few hits to actually get the spot. Is there literally just one enemy left and it's this guy? Okay. I hope I still got those bolts. Alright, the final battle. The Rangers have succeeded in deactivating the forest field surrounding the enemy base. The time has come to lead a Ranger force into the enemy base and destroy the Tyranoids completely. The Noids are just about finished. Trust me, Sarge. This one's gonna be a cakewalk. Uh, are you sure? It may not be the good kind of cake, you know. You see, like I said, these noids don't have the book. They're not much! Oh, oh, run for your lives! The noids are bringing in reinforcements by right air! Why well, do I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do most of this by myself? Oof, that was a bit rough. These guys are like stuck behind the bridge. They don't know how to walk around it. What's wrong with them? Alright, suck cannon's gonna have to be the way to go for now. Probably not for these guys. Let me back up. Get back to the master plan. You guys, uh, take care of the front. And I will back you up. That's some nice cover there, buddy. You did good. You did good. We got the guys on the top of the cliff, I hope. Yay! More health. Keep your eyes peeled. The noids might be waiting for us at the next bridge. They are. In fact, I've already saw them by the time you were talking. I have good vision, you know. That's why you eat your carrots, kids. And grown-ups. I assume grown-ups still watch this. Ha! Huh. I was on to them. I knew there were going to be more of those creeps coming up by the bridge. Oh, that's a Gatling gun! Maybe we need explosive blasts for that. Oh, it takes like several shots! Even like, several explosions! I feel like the Sug Cannon is not always the most practical weapon of choice. Can I get somewhere where you're not gonna shoot me? Mission accomplished. We are now in complete control of 
of Cabo Island. Yay. And that's it? Alright. Well, still can't buy that weapon. I'm going back to the ship. I felt that was a very productive video. Granted, most of it was like just on this one planet. Oh, now I'm just getting back. Well, at least there are still boxes waiting for me. Might as well get these two, because you can never have too many bolts. Usually, it's not enough. Alright, time to spill the beans that Captain Quark is still a fraud. I'm pretty sure that they'll believe me. I hope they will. And that it doesn't end up me being turned traitor. Because some people don't like the truth. And that's their problem. It was the biggest Tyranoid you've ever seen. <laughs> Big as a Star Cruiser and packing twice as much firepower. There was no escape. He was coming right at me. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I going to do, right? <laughs> closer, even closer. Click, click. My blaster jam. <laughs> no way. What happened next? Yes, go on. We're all riveted. So, this is the mighty Q force I've heard so much about. Pathetic. I could obliterate a lot of you, and they wouldn't even mention it in Supervillain Weekly. True, sir, but you'd have done the fashion world an enormous service. And as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. <laughs> Come right, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. Al, come in! Yellow. Someone just transmitted a hologram onto the ship. I need to know where the signal came from. Let's see. Back tracing the signal. Hmm. Six path alpha key encryption. Amateurs. I got it. It came from a facility on planet Dax. Accessing their computer files. Planet Dax? Aha! I found something suspicious. Patching it through now. Tonight, we take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, Dr. Nefarious. We'll take a tour of this secret facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious super weapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work, but how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! Lawrence, tell us a bit about this top-secret super weapon being constructed on planet Dax. Well, super is such a strong word. For that matter, weapon may be a tad overdoing it. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Is Dr. Nefarious poised on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Stay tuned for more from Super Villain Weekly. Whatever Nefarious is doing on Dax, it can't be good. We'll check it out. You're welcome. I didn't say thank you, but okay. Alright, should I keep saving for that Annihilator? So, you've come back to displace my training course once again, hmm? Actually, we were hoping we could just pick up the gadgets and split. We have a spaceship to catch. Ha! You slackers are always looking for the easy way out. When you can pass the course, you can have the device. What course? Um, not this one, is it? No, I think it's this one. Uh, pretty sure it's wrench beatdown. Might as well get them before they show up. Hmm. 
Maybe if I pass this course, I can actually do it. Okay, this is going much better than the first time I attempted this. Much better. All I got is 600 bolts. Nerves of titanium. Okay. Fight through the final VR battle and win a titanium bolt. So I think I have to beat this one. I mean, if it's just these jabronis, I can pretty much use whatever weapon I like. Any weapon that's disposable at first, start with that. And then you can start, like, using your better ones. I think that's a solid strategy to go for. If these are the only enemies you fight, then by all means. I don't think I'm going to get much, if any, experience from fighting these drones. Since they're such weak enemies, the experience is going to be so little. As I level up my health. This is only the fifth round, really? I think they can put in some new droids or something. No, it's just more of the same. Wait a minute. Can my suck cannon get them? They oh my god. I think the suck cannon is better to use against them. Like, even if I run out of ammo, they're small enough to be sucked in. Ridiculous, don't you think? Plus, I can suck in the ammo crates that appear. Come one, come all. Get sucked tonight. That sounded wrong. Let me rephrase that. Come get sucked by me tonight. That's even worse. I am a lean, mean, sucking machine. Get used to it. And I will never stop sucking. I I'm, I'm just gonna pretty much die on this hill, aren't I? Innuendos is pretty much the hill I'm going to die on. But at least... I'll die on that hill rather than a hill in here. I would love for this thing to finally be level 3 by now. I wonder if it's at its highest level it can start sucking in bigger enemies. Cause that would be so great. These things are annoying when they throw the bomb, so... Come one, come all. Welcome to your final resting place. Prepare for a sucking good time. Suck Cannon is the name of somebody's ex, I know. And I got the bolt. I did it. 
Why am I not leaving? Okay, now I'm leaving. Wait a minute, I gotta do this? That was what I was supposed to do this whole time? Those platforms can be activated with the hyper shot. Okay. I need to do this training and act to actually be able to do well to actually get the item. Oh, I'm not close enough. So the hyper Oh, I was supposed to hold that. You are letting go too soon. Hold circle until you are over the target area. Yeah, now it makes sense. If you're close enough, it'll grab it automatically. Alright, I'll hack it. Press square to collect the green code snippets. Press circle to destroy the red defense programs. The blue defenses... Okay, don't let the red ones grab you. Blue ones, I think you can just leave alone. I wonder what happens if a blue one touches you. Let's not find out. Did it. I am a hacker man. Oh, I gotta do some more swinging. Alright. Oh, this. I actually have to be patient. I don't want to get electrocuted. Spider-Man. Uh, there's no clock. I think I could take my time. Press. Wait a minute. I can use the X button too. I was using circle to shoot. That was a fail? Oh, red one reached. Oh, I thought I had it. I was thinking I was really close to the end. So I was like, okay, I'll just go for it and then hail Mary my shot. That was not a good plan. Oh, I was like overthinking what I needed to do. Oh, there's more? Oh, that sucked. Uh oh. Get. Oh! Well, at least I don't have to redo stage one. Because that would have been utter shite. Oh, I did it. They're actually getting a bit harder now. This video's going on for quite a while. How about you shut your mouth? Maybe you can actually be, like, a little less robust. That's all I'm saying. And I can say that because you're mean to me. That was okay, I guess. 
Let's see you try it then. Gonna hack again. Oops. Oh, damn it. At least I don't lose points for, like, shooting the green ones. Just means I'm in there longer. I have to wait for the blue ones to go away. And sometimes the red ones are hiding behind them. Which makes it annoying. Three stages for this one. Not surprised. Disappointed, but not surprised. Okay, you can't suck in the uh, red ones by mistake. They'll just block it. At least we're learning some things about this. Okay, we made it to stage three. It was a bit of a close one. As, as annoying as Hacker Bro is, at least he's able to do this stuff easily. Ha! That was pathetic. Really? Would a pathetic Lombax have a titanium bolt that glows? We'll just take those gadgets and be on our way. Oh, yeah. Your little man is cocky now. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to meet Helga on the wrestling mat? Hmm? We'll see how cocky you are. Twist it up like a wet noodle. Uh, maybe next time. Pansies. Oh, I guess I can always use my gun in a wrestling match. I mean, I've, I've seen worse. <laughs> I've seen grabbing someone's dick be a finisher. Wait, I, I, I can't afford the adamantine armor. So I will. Anybody know what their big red button does? I don't know. Why don't you press it? Activated. He actually no, pressed it, didn't he? Alright, you know what? Before we go to the next planet... Actually, you know what? Let's just go to the next planet now, and then we'll end it right on top of it. Dax. Looks like a nice place. Very well developed. Blue skies. That's all I got to say about it. <laughs> Can you think of something better? Al here. The DAX facility has two high-security computer terminals. My information indicates that one of them is somewhere out in the islands. The other one is inside the main building. Okay. That must be the main building over there. I think. Yep, yeah, that must be the building, and that must be the islands. All right, good to know. There's the docks and the weapons facility. All right, I guess I'll stop here, finally, and in the next episode, we shall continue to explore Dax. See everyone, thanks for watching.